We are back with another really incredible human that finally kind of just getting to know. So we're titling this video today, What Do the ABCs Mean in Your Adult Life? It's about you tonight. So tell us a little bit about who is Laura Cook? You know, what do you do? What are you all about? What's your story? It's a pleasure to be part of the compilation. And I love all of the amazing stories that you've, and authors you've pulled into it. Um, you know, if you look behind me, I've got balance on my wall, which is an aspirational goal for me. I have my values on there, but balance is a reminder for me too. I'm guilty of throwing myself into my work and maybe hustling a little bit too hard, but I'm a leadership development consultant. I help organizations manage change. I'm a certified Dare to Lead facilitator based on Brene Brown's work and book and research and more recently author as part of your compilation. And I've just released my own book called Leave It All on the Dance Floor, Why It's Never Too Late to Follow Your Dreams. Oh, I love that so much. And I actually have that book, Dare to Lead. I hosted a book study around that book and I had no idea okay. that you were a facilitator. So that's super cool. And yes, yeah. your book was released right after our compilation yeah. book. So yeah, congratulations maybe. to you. That's awesome. Thank you. Very cool. And I love that reminder behind you. You know, it's like as women, as mamas, as humans, you know, we take on a, a big load and sometimes it's hard for us to say no or not right now. And we have that people pleasing element inside of us. So usually, you know, a passion or something, it, it stems from something else. So, you know, what was the root cause? How did you become the Laura Cook that we know and love today? Yeah, I was born with a sense of needing to fulfill a bigger purpose. I, since I was a young kid, I felt like I wanted to make a difference in the world. Um, and I don't know where that stems from, but if you've taken your Enneagram, I'm a three. So it could just be to prove that I'm not a mistake. Yeah, so it's really, you know, I had this sense of needing to serve and, and you know, that's shown up throughout my, my life and career. I. Um, at one point wanted to be a lawyer because I, I love this concept of writing wrongs for people. Um, revisited going to law school in my mid-30s, didn't get in. I wrote the LSAT three times while I was in this post-merger project and it's it's a grueling process but you know each little failure step along the way has helped me kind of get a little bit closer to what I was meant to do. So the leadership development came from a passion of seeing a long line of really crappy leaders. And so yeah. I wanted to make a difference in that space. So it's just really been following the breadcrumbs of how can I make an impact or how can I make a difference? I love that. I love that. And you're following that intuition and being guided and allowing yourself to kind of lean into that. For those of you who have no idea, Life by Design Volume 2, Laura is on page 39. Could you touch on this chapter specifically in the reader, there's something specific that you want them to feel or to know or to walk away with after reading your chapter. Well, I think what's important is when we think about, I start the chapter with the word exhaustion because so many of us can relate to exhaustion, burnout, whatever you want to call it. And to feel like there's even an opportunity for this concept or notion of balance, it seems like a lofty goal that we can never achieve. And we often think about things in finites or either or. So either I'm so busy and so exhausted or I'm laying on a beach doing nothing, reading a novel, <laughs> having a margarita. This idea, the ABCs came to me just out of three elements that I think we need to be able to create balance. One is accountability, not only with ourselves, but with others, if that's how we're motivated. The second is boundaries. So what boundaries do I need to be able to put in place? I think learning to say no, learning that no is a complete sentence is hard for us as women in particular. Yeah. And then third is compassion. So having compassion for ourselves when we maybe fall short of holding these goals up. So I think it's a mix and we have to find the right mix for ourselves each day. Um, today, do I need to dial up accountability or do I need to be gentle with myself because I've got enough going on? And so mm -hmm. what boundaries do I need to put in place with myself or with others to be able to create space for what I need? Mm -hmm. So important, so critical and such ripple effects that come with kind of getting it right, if you will. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know that 
A lot of times when we look at the answers that are right under our nose, we know what to do. Let's not kid ourselves. But a lot of times we need that accountability. A lot Mm -hmm. of times we cannot see our own blind spots. So we need that tour guide and that tough love and different components that we just cannot give ourselves. So do you mind talking about what you've opened up for our guest and what this call is about? Yeah, great. Um, So yes, offering a balanced blueprint session to really explore one-on-one with people where you may need a little bit more balance and how can we find something that feels right for you? Because I think when we think about accountability, when we think about this building a practice around balance, it seems like this heavy thing that's going to be hard to do. And I think nothing that will become habit or practice should feel that hard or heavy. And so it's finding like, what's one thing, what's one tiny thing that feels right for you that you think you could do and you look forward to doing versus this other load of laundry list we're adding to your today, your day-to-day tasks. And so just, you know, finding, like you said, these micro habits, these tiny little tweaks we can make to eventually over time have more sense of balance. And let's not lie here, I struggle with this too every day, right? So nobody, I don't think anybody's got it right, but it's learning every day um, what it is that we need. Well, we're not perfect, but we can aim to be 1% better each and every day. So I know for a fact there's someone listening who maybe still has a little instant gratification mentality. Mm -hmm. So do you mind speaking to that type of mindset where maybe it is all or none and we want it now, we want it today, and these micro tweaks feel like damn it, it's never going to happen for me, or it's going to take so long. Why bother? I wish there was a magic bullet or an easy (laughs) pill we could take to to make everything better. But, you know, anytime I've tried this all or nothing, I don't succeed. Maybe I'm, I'm super disciplined for three days and then it feels like a punishment to beat myself up for abandoning it. So who wants to feel that way? I, I don't. Right. So yeah. I know it's not sexy to say if we do small things over time that it's going to improve small things over time, you'll start to see the difference. I mean, a few years ago, I wasn't exercising regularly and it was the I got to do five days a week or nothing. Right. And if I don't do five days a week, I'm fit. well, no, that's that's not fair. And so learning to kind of just make it a practice. And if it's if it's 10 minutes, it's better than zero. Right. So, right. But I love your approach and I love how you put things. So I hope that you guys are taking some really great notes and book that call. But, Mm -hmm. you know, if you were to give one tip, one maybe mindset hack or one, you know, resource for people today, what would that look like? Really need an accountability partner. And I do have an accountability partner who I've been working with, I think for my gosh, at least three years now. And every morning we're on the phone that having that accountability call every morning helps me stay on track. And so even if it's like five minutes before the call, I might finish something so that when I get on the call, I can say I did it right. So I would recommend if you don't have an accountability partner to, to get one. That is great. So I'd love to give you the space to speak with our viewers. You know, what's From Laura's heart to our listeners, the one Mm -hmm. thing. Well, I would just say that I, in my core, believe that we weren't made to walk this earth to suffer. And I think that if we feel like every day is taxing, every day is unpleasant, every day is depletion, every day is depression, that's not how we're meant to be. And so I think when we feel agitation, when we feel kind of discomfort, it is meant to be a catalyst to change something. And so I would just say, where are you feeling the most discomfort? What's pushing up against you the hardest? And maybe what's one thing we can do to kind of alleviate that or step, make plans to step away from it? I'm not asking anyone to take drastic steps or quit their job or walk away from their spouse or anything like that. I think we, we we think in these terms and we think, oh, well, if I'm gonna get more balance, I have to like 
you know, Tony Robbins says, if you want to take the island, burn the boats. I don't think you have to burn the boats. <laughs> yes. Dip your toe in. That's See right. See what it feels like and, and keep going where things start to feel better because I, I think suffering, we wear, we wear this kind of identity of needing to suffer, but I don't believe that's what we're meant to do. I love that. Oh man, that's so good. That is so good. Thank you for being who you are and thank you for doing what you do because that's why we're here. You know, it's to help others kind of lift each other up and rise. And like you said, you're not meant to suffer and to be in pain or discomfort or, or even feel defeated in life. Mm-hmm. So um, what you do is super important. And I am blessed that you're a part of our book. And thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. It's been an honor. Good. All right, you guys, this is Laura Cook. Take advantage, find her books, stock her. Thank you so very much. Have a great night. Be blessed. Thank you. You too.